Ever tried baking cookies and ran out of chocolate chips? That's stoichiometry in action. Chemistry is just like cooking, but instead of flour and sugar, we've got atoms and molecules. Let's say you need two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom to make a molecule of water. That's your recipe. Stoichiometry helps you scale that up using moles, like using cups instead of teaspoons. One mole equals 6.02x10 superscript 2 superscript 3 particles. Yeah, that's a lot of atoms. Now, imagine you have five moles of hydrogen and two moles of oxygen. Can you make five moles of water? Nope, you're limited by the oxygen. Oxygen is your limiting reactant, and hydrogen is the extra, you know, like leftover cookie dough with no chips. With stoichiometry, you can also figure out how much product you should make, called the theoretical yield, and compare it to what you actually get. That's your percentage yield. It's like chemistry's version of a cook-off, and the mole ratios are your secret recipe.